Hi there guys and welcome to another edition of Extremely Cocky's War Review. Um, just jump straight in here. Um, so uh, we're up against adult clashes. Uh, it's very rare that we get an English speaking clan, uh, so that's always nice. Um, the highest three stars they got against us uh, was base number three, Getter. Now, this is the 37th war review that I've done. Um, and as far as I can remember, at no time has anyone three starred higher than us and lost the war. Um, so, um, you can see they got two on a number one, three on uh, number three, two on number four. They did really well on the TH-10s. Um, you can't take that away from them. Um, but as you'll see, they failed to three-star any of the TH-9s. Um, okay, they got they got our two lowest. Um, but yeah, um, so, I mean, we're really good at uh, TH-9. It's probably our strength. Um, so we only got they got two, three, six, seven, eight. So they got eight stars, and we only got uh, two, three, four, five. So they beat us by three stars uh, on the TH tens. Now, obviously, it's just a game of maths. So as long as we um, left less than three stars on their TH nines, then we win. Um, and we three starred all of their TH nines except for one. Um, now, we should have finished on 68 starts, that's, uh, that's where we were headed, um, but two people didn't show at the end. Um, these things happen, uh, we're an adult clan, so uh, you know people have lives, children, wives, blah blah blah. Um, but we do normally take all of our attacks. Um, so this war was a tiny bit closer than it should have been, um, but uh, a win is a win. So. Um, the highest three stars we got uh, was on base number five, which was um, Rich. So let's have a look at Rich's attack, which doesn't often fo um, feature on the uh, war review. So I'm really pleased to be bringing our leader into the war review for a change. Um, so as you can see, he's doing a go wipe uh, with two witches and um, I imagine that a golem in the clan castle. So we've got our, um, we've drawn the clan castle out, we've got our poison spell on the dragon, um, that's an accumulator nowadays so that won't take long, there he goes, and uh, we've got our first heal spell to go, go down. I imagine as soon as we break through this wall we should see a jump spell. You see the wizards and the uh, and the witch uh, and the pekka cleaning up around the outside. We've got a uh, semi-decent kill squad in the middle there. Um, we've got the golem providing plenty of cover for the witch and the wizard. The king's been dropped in at the top, claiming uh, the remainder of the outside buildings, which means this pekka is going to cut in any second now. So the last heal spell went uh, went into the centre just to cover for that Pekka there because he's got three Teslas on him. Um, obviously they're double hit points against Pekkas. So there we go, Pekka is uh, Pekka's cutting in thanks to the good work of the King there. Queen's gone, but we've only got an archer tower to deal with. Um, there goes the Tesla, and uh, we shouldn't. Uh, we we'll just speed this up a tiny bit. That Pekka won't take long to break through there, and done. Um, so. Uh, my original target was base number five, and uh, I'm afraid I wasn't up to the job, so um, fantastic clean there by Rich. Uh, thank you very much. So, second highest three stars was by Getter, and um, I'm assuming... Oh my god, hold the line! A 
just need to take a moment because Getter is not doing a lava loom. This is groundbreaking. Okay, so uh, Getter is doing a bolt standard go wipe. We've got four golems and uh, something funky in the clan castle, no doubt. So where's he coming from? He's coming from the top. Um, we've got an earthquake to open us up. That should, um, once these wizards take out the distraction on the outside, pretty much um, create a, a really good funnel straight into the centre there. Obviously the um, town hall's a little off centre. But as you saw, the peckers went straight in, the king and queen's in, um, we've got the four golems and... Uh, I imagine this isn't going to take much time at all. You see he had a couple of wizards held back there, just strategically placing one on the uh, cannon at the top there to, in order for um, troops not to have to double back. Uh, always a good time saver if your troops don't have to double back. And there always is the risk that they'll find a double bomb that uh, they didn't find on the way through, something nasty like that. So all the spells are down now, and uh, but we've still got um, the king and queen with their abilities to be used, and uh, we've only got four, five, six defences to worry about. So king ability has been used. A couple of skellies to deal with won't take long. King there surviving on the tiniest bit of health, but uh, I don't imagine anything's going to. Uh, get to him now and uh, there goes the last defence just a bit of clean up to go what have we got something in the corner there boom and a fantastic three stars by Getter well done Getter so let's have a look at Clash of Clans um, most heroic <coughs> so um, to the this war's most heroic was um, Brian humiliated you. And uh, oh, let's press play on that. Okay, so um, Brian's got dragons and hogs. So we've just lured out with a couple of hogs uh, the dragon. And so Brian's put down all of his dragons more or less in the same corner. Now, um, there was a hole in the base, which is how those loons appeared in the middle of the base just there. But uh, very handily, he's put the hogs in uh, right next to the other air defence. Um, so the hogs are actually going to take out both of those air defences um, before the dragons get there. Um, that is... Uh, that's a really good move. Uh, a couple of people had um, already attempted this uh, uh, with your standard dragons and uh, loons in the clan castle and um, had, had failed. Um, so uh, Brian just putting those hogs in at exactly the right time and the right place has taken away more or less all of the defences against the dragons. Obviously we've got a wizard tower, an archer tower and a tesla but um, you know, the, the hit points from them are, are nothing to bother a dragon, so once those air defence were gone, and uh, obviously he lightning that first air defence, um, this is a really thought out, um, clever attack by Brian. And I wish I'd seen this live. So we've only got um, a wizard tower left that can cause any damage to us now. Um, there is a dark elixir drill in the left hand corner um, which uh, depending on the time would have been an issue but obviously as we know this is a three stars it clearly wasn't so let's just make them fly a bit quicker. And uh, yeah, a fantastic three stars by Brian and uh, yeah, super super well thought out plan Brian, um, nice to see. Uh, Nice to see. I'll leave it at that. 
well deserved of Most Heroic, that is for sure. Now, let's have a look at Most Heroic's, um, Clash Clans Most Heroic uh, Defence, which was Pappy, and I think this might be Pappy's first appearance on the War Review. He's uh, relatively new. He's a TH8 and um, he can really attack. Uh, obviously, this is a defensive video, but. So, they've got a go white, bulk standard go white cooked, uh, two rage and a heal. Um, they have lured the clan castle here with um, uh, a couple of hogs, and they're just placing the clan castle where they would like them uh, with a couple of archers. Now, crucially, you'll see the witch hanging back there on the. Um, air defence. Now, I watched this attack live. This is quite possibly uh, one of the best examples of um, someone not being able to deal with the clan castle. Um, you'll see he keeps dropping wizard after wizard after wizard and she just keeps making more skeletons. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so um, all of his wizards from his army have now been spent and uh, the queen is still alive. Um, so, what you need to do in a situation like that is pull the queen out, as, uh, the the witch out as far as humanly possible, and then drop a distraction like a golem or a pekka, uh, and then put the wizards in. So, down comes his king. We've got the golem and the pekka at the top. Um, that's just taken out our our king. Um, the, the 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 king, the uh, incoming king, he's gone already. Uh, we're only on eleven percent. Um, I'm not sure where the witch is, but I'm pretty certain she's still, uh, there she is, look, yep. Still in the middle of the base creating havoc with skeletons, uh, and while skeletons probably do such little damage uh, to peckers, um, what they do do is distract a pecker for a very large amount of time because uh, the, the pecker's swipe is so slow. Obviously the uh, peckers have been diverted back out of the base now, um, so they're just wasting time around the outside. Uh, these golems are not going to do anything because uh, all of the wizards are gone. <laughs> he's, uh, he's raged his peckers there, he had, did have four of them uh, and they've instantly uh, run outside of the rage spell. Uh, this wizard is still, sorry witch, is still single handedly taking down a golem and uh, the point defences here are slowly picking off uh, picking off the peckers, only two left. I'm not, I didn't quite see what distracted that second pecker there, but he's, he's wandered away from the cannon he was attacking, I think obviously to deal with skellies. Anyway, um, that is a huge, huge lesson in not what to do, um, and a fantastic defence by Pappy. Well done, Pappy. And I'd just like to point out that was my witch, Pappy. I put that in there. <laughs> I'm going to claim that. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look at uh, this war's uh, main feature. So. Um, I am looking for someone who uh, went above their number. Uh, we've already seen Brian's attack, um, so uh, we featured Wu Tang before. Um, Pablo did absolutely nothing for us this war. Um, Jem had a 99, bit of a tough break there. And uh, Blue Shirt, Cap, so Cap went on 16, 18, 15, and 19, 14, and 19. Becky did 11 and 13. Okay, let's have a look at Becky's first attack. Um, after, as you can see by the numbers, we all did our opposite number to begin with. So let's have a look at Becky doing number 11 because Becky is uh, very new to TH9. Um, and, and I'm not going to lie, Becky has really come on uh, in the last um, few weeks, few months. Okay, so his lure hasn't worked. Not a problem.
Yeah, you probably only wanted uh, to blow one hole in the wall there, Becky, and then you could have got through the next one as well. <coughs> so we've got a rage to uh, deal with the dragon in the clan castle. That took no time at all. So, um, crucially, uh, some golems went uh, around the right-hand side, some golems have gone around the left-hand side. This uh, golem uh, is low on health, but has five wizards parked behind him, so a fantastic clean-up army there. And we've just got ourselves a heal spell. That's taken out one of those wizards, but... We've still got a rage to go, uh, we've still got a poison spell, I guess we can use that on um, any skellies that arrive. Uh, we've uh, got the queen down now. The queen's ability has been used. Um, have we even got any defences left? Okay, so we've got a mortar. Which is firing on the pecker, so that's all gravy so far. Still got all three peckers. What do we got? We just got the town hall, and boom! A fantastic three stars uh, on his opposite number by Becky. Oh, her name was Beth. So a uh, bit of girl on girl there. Right. That's the end of another war review. As always, guys, I really appreciate your, uh, your support and um, thanks a lot for, uh, for watching. And I'll get the next one out just as soon as we have it. All right, guys. Cheers.